Welcome Climate Viewers, my name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at ClimateViewer.com, ClimateViewer.org, and WeatherModificationHistory.com. It's July 14th, 2018, and uh, due to many requests, I have finally completed uh, Climate Viewer Mobile. Um, it's a add-on to the Climate Viewer 3D, which is mobile friendly. Um, many people have expressed concern about not being able to use Climate Viewer 3D because it requires 3D support, meaning you have to have a 3D video card, pretty fast processor, yada yada. So what I did was I created a mobile friendly version of the app. It is now available on the front page of climateviewer.org. And uh, I'm going to explain how to use it, uh, what's the what, and all the what fors. So um, before we do that, I'd like to point out that everything on climateviewer.com is open source and free of charge. I only ask that if you're going to support my work, uh, please do so with a monthly donation on my Patreon or a one-time donation on my PayPal. This is my only source of income at the moment and I greatly appreciate every donation. In addition, I'm planning on taking the next week off and taking my family, my wife and two daughters to the beach. So if you could uh, give to the PayPal this week, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, and what you're gonna see is on the front page, you know, I have the geoengineering section. I've got the pollution news with everything from directed energy weapons to you know um, all kinds of pollution privacy but at the bottom is the the map section and i uh, just updated uh that that with uh, climate viewer reports daily skywatch this is the reporting app i'll be going over it as well and climate viewer mobile is live monitor your world from your phone which is the video we're going to make tonight um and you can see that that's already posted up on climateviewer.com and before we get to the app, I just wanted to show you guys um, some of the features here. I got a little bit of information on it, but basically this breaks it down. Um, you know, this is what the new version looks like. You have a scale in the top corner, zoom controls here, a map list button here, and base maps here. Very simple. It's like four buttons. You don't even have to click on this one, so three buttons. Um, and then when you open up the map menu, um, I put a little image here to show you what each thing does. Um, if you hit top, it scrolls to the top of the menu, submit report, and that is the reporting app. The submit button is back. Join our chat by clicking here. Obviously the close button closes this sidebar menu. Um, clear maps will remove all maps that you currently have loaded. Um, share at, show active maps um, right here so if you have a whole bunch checked you can get rid of the entire list and only show the ones you have currently available um, share active maps by clicking share screen this will share your screen exactly the way it is where it is what you have loaded and all of that that's the purpose of climate viewer 3d and climate viewer mobile is to connect the dots and then be able to share it and show it to other people. Um, close categories by hitting the collapse menu button. This will close down all the different categories and bring you back to the start. Load a map by clicking on the eyeball icon right here or the title. So either or, you can just click on the title or this little eyeball. That'll load a map onto the main map. And then finally, map description is under the I for info icon. If you click that, it'll give you more information about the map. Um, so, you know, yes, Climate Viewer 3D is still available. It is now at climateviewer.org slash 3D. That's where it used to live, and now it's back there. And um, it's based on something called Cesium JS. And then I've got a little information on that. Can you know? Can I run Climate Viewer 3D? Um, of course, you can just click it and try it and see if it works because not all devices are equal and not all devices support WebGL. It's a new technology. Um, but you know that being said, the mobile-friendly map that I'm about to show you will support every device out there, every phone, tablet, uh, Macintosh, Linux, 
Um, I've tested it on multiple devices, so um, you should have no issues whatsoever jumping into this. Thank you to everybody in uh, Facebook chat for hanging out late with me tonight. This is a pretty epic moment for me. I wanted to get this done before I go on vacation next week. And I managed to pull it off after four days of programming. So here is that beautiful looking Climate Viewer mobile. Um, and as you can see, I have multiple layers up currently on the screen. Um, I got sea surface temperatures, I've got fires, I've got radar, I've got earthquakes, and I've even got the NASA satellite view. If I click over here on the sidebar menu, um, you can see right here, map menu. Um, just click map menu, and then I go to NASA satellites. You'll see that I have um, the, the corrected reflectance currently up. If I drag the bar up on that, you can see the satellite imagery there, um, just like that. And if I turn the sea surface temperatures off, um you'll be able to see the rest of it so where's that at uh not ice where is it at i'm hot I'm, I'm losing my place here sea surface temperature ice surface temperatures no element os where is it at? oh it's open already that's why i can't see it ha ha and if I just drag that down, you can see that there's the rest of the satellite view. And as we can see, there's a whole bunch of ship track action going off in the coast right now. Um, and this is a, a great way to, to view your world all at once, all in one spot. Um, you know, I have a lot of fun with this app. Um, I wanted to be able to get as many people to be able to use it as possible. And bringing this mobile map, um, is a great way for me to do that so like i said um in the little details earlier you can share your map exactly as it's viewed right here by coming up here to the top i'm gonna scroll to the top by hitting top and hit share screen now when i do that it's going to give me three blocks so the first block is just a link um you can share this on facebook twitter wherever there's a short URL version of it if you want a shortened version of that. And there's even an iframe which allows you to embed this map on your website. If you're a webmaster and you want to custom mix a map and then embed it on your website, this is an open source free project. It is Creative Commons uh, non-commercial 4.0 international. So I want to spread this information as far as possible. That's the purpose of it. So if you want to embed this map on your website, feel free to do so. Um, but like I said, if you just grab this link and I go hit go to, what's going to do is going to pop up a new window. And obviously this is going to pop up in your face to begin with, but lo and behold, there we go. It's going to add all of the layers that you currently have loaded to the shared layers section at the top. And as you can see, um, it's going to remember where your slider settings are and all of the maps you have loaded. So right now I have USGS 2.5 magnitude earthquakes, fire detection from MODIS uh, firms and VIRS firms, MODIS terror corrected reflectance, that's the visual satellite, lightning strike density, rainfall, US next rad radar base reflectivity, and sea surface temperatures all in one spot. Um, pretty darn cool. So if I were to move this and then scroll in, let's say we go over to here, let me hit home. If I hit the home button, it's gonna bring me back to America. And uh, I'm gonna scroll into right here. Same deal, I can go over here to these ship tracks. Forgive me for the place mark clickage and we can do that and main menu share screen grab that link go to that link and lo and behold there we are it remembers where you were on the map what maps you have loaded that's the beauty of climate viewer mobile that's the beauty of climate viewer 3d as you can see there are 750 maps total on uh, Climate Viewer Mobile and Climate Viewer 3D. 
Um, so there's a lot to dig into. I hope that you guys will dig into all of it. Um, right here under the showing all, if I click that, um, you know, it should show which maps are loaded, which are not. Currently I'm on shared maps, so let's just clear this out. I'm gonna get rid of this long ass string and go back to the main menu. And we're gonna go over here and I'm just gonna click on atmospheric sensors. I'm gonna click on harp, which it'll fly me to harp. If you click on any of the icons, it'll bring up a little window, let you read all about it. You can see photos of harp, pretty cool. Um, and then let's say ionospheric heaters worldwide. It'll zoom me out. Missile defense radars right here. And as you can see, I've updated my maps to where they have the cool icons again. That makes me very proud. And finally, um, ELF and VLF uh, from around the world. I got my, um, my big uh, markers back for um, the Clam Lake in Republic, uh, Michigan um, ELF. Uh, transmitters you can see the overlays again uh, I did a little bit of tweaking on my maps to bring back the old-school Google Earth friendly maps um, that show the North warning system with the Air Force logos and it's got all the different logos from around the world um, as you can see here Stanford VLF logos and all that stuff so similarly you can still go right up here to the top hit share screen grab that link click it in a new window and it's going to do the same thing it's going to remember where you were what you had loaded and all of that that's the beauty of it i hope that you guys will give it a shot it's tons of fun um so the same thing is true over on uh climate viewer 3d i'm going to grab just this portion of the url real quick and I'm going to come over to Climate Viewer 3D. Let's close some of these out. That's not it. Close and close. And here's Climate Viewer 3D. And currently up on Climate Viewer 3D, I have all of the spy facilities of the world and drones and Department of Homeland Security fusion centers with underwater cables and all of that fun. So if I wanted to replace that, I could come up here and drop in the exact same link, hit enter, and it should load up those exact same maps. So now we have the same maps that we were just looking at, except now they're in 3D. And you can see how the lines show where the transmitters go all the way around the world, how they're linked up and everything like that. And like I said, each of these, you know, is loaded with information. Um, I hope that you'll dig into it. There's a lot there. In addition, on Climate Viewer 3D, um, currently I have the map markers. So you'll be able to fly to each individual location. Like if I were to click on Harp here, it'll fly you to Harp. If I click on Super Darn and Gigamarca, it'll fly you there and let you see the big old heater down in Peru. Um, I will be adding the markers to Climate Viewer Mobile in the near future. I just wanted to get the thing up and running. I got the sliders working for the opacity and stuff. Um, but I didn't get these done. So you'll have to just wait for that. And there's the ELF facilities at Clam Lake um, and Republic, Michigan right there. Uh, very, very big facilities. These are wires on top of towers. If you wanted to change the base layer, it's a little different on Climate Viewer Mobile versus Climate Viewer 3D. On Climate Viewer 3D, they are under Base Globe. So if I wanted to change to Dark Matter, which I like, it's one of my favorite, makes the world black, makes it easy to see a lot of this stuff. You click down here if you wanted to make it 3D. I can go to Bing Aerial and then I can hit 3D. And then I can come down here to a mountain range and let's see it in 3D. And there you go. So that's the purpose of Climate Viewer 3D. It is actually 3D. Um, pretty cool stuff. 
So let me go up here to the very top and hit close and you can see that in full screen. Nice 3D panoramas, um, 3D terrain, all of that sort of thing. You cannot do that with Climate Viewer Mobile. It is a flat map. So back here on Climate Viewer Mobile, if you wanted to change the base layer, you do that up here at the top. You just hover over this little icon right here and you can scroll through all the different base layers. Similarly, there's dark matter. I click on that and uh, you can see that. And as you can see right now, you can't see a thing because it's all covered. So if I hit clear maps, that'll get rid of all of the maps that are currently loaded and I can load up some new ones. If I hit collapse menu, it will close all the menus and you're back to the start. And then I can jump in here to the geoengineering section and load up weather modification projects and uh, you know things like that. And uh, again, if you click on those, they will give you information on each of the individual markers. Each marker is it's a web page unto itself. Um, similarly, you can come into the nuclear section and you can load up all of the nuclear reactors of the world. It's very fast. Um, and you can see that you just click on that. That is a nuclear reactor underwater. Um, and that's uh, the Cooper uh, nuclear power plant. And it was flooded, similar to Fukushima. Gotta love a good photo like that. And all of these have photos. This was a three month process just making this map. Uh, all together I have three and a half years worth of maps that I've created on Climate Viewer 3D and they all serve a purpose. Um, everything at the very top that says live is live. So when you click any of these maps like earthquakes, um, air quality, if you click the air quality, let's here clear off the map. I hit air quality index current and it'll show you currently what the wet, what the air is like where you're breathing. Orange is obviously unhealthy um, and green is allegedly good. So I also have the World Air Quality Index project which is not just United States it's worldwide so you can also check that out which is a new uh, feature. You gotta love that. China's got some pretty icky um, air to breathe over there right now, apparently. Um, red is bad, green's good. So take a look through that. Um, pretty fascinating stuff. All of this is real time. So anything in the live section is real time. When you click it, it actually pulls it from another server. You can click on the eye for information. It'll show you. Uh, this is PM 2.5 or particulate matter of a 2.5 um, nanometer micron, not sure which of it is, um, based on the air quality index and you can see more info on that, waqi.info, um, there is a share link for that and e under each of the eye icons, if you're having trouble loading it, there is a report error button. Please click that button and let me know if one of the layers is not working. I'll look into it. Um, it'll just, you know, submit an email to me. Uh, pretty simple. Unfortunately, this map is not working. Please look into it. Sent from climateviewer.org. Um, and it gives me a little code that lets me know which layer you're sending. So um, I do appreciate the reports. You know, if you guys see something not working, let me know. Just click the little I for information icon and that'll help a brother out. Um, you can see things like all of the earthquakes that have uh, erupted recently. So we can hit active volcanoes and then we can hit 2.5 earthquakes. And what we're gonna see is if we go over to Hawaii because we all know what's going on over there right now. That it's getting pretty nasty over in Hawaii around Kilauea. And that's a lot of earthquakes. As you can see there. That is a massive, massive, massive amount of earthquakes in one location. Um, again, any one of these earthquakes, you can click on them. It'll tell you this is a magnitude 3.2.
click here for more info. When you click that, it's going to take you over to the USGS website for that earthquake. So like I said, all of this information is real time in the live sections. Um, they are linked directly from government and universities from around the world. It's a painstaking process to find all of this information and put it all in one place. And that's why Climate Viewer 3D and Climate Viewer 2D, the mobile version, is so powerful. Um, it allows you to view your world in totality all in one spot um, and see many, many different things. So I've got air quality, earthquakes, fire, uh, smoke, and volcanic activity, lightning, precipitation and radar. Uh, let's clear this off real quick and uh, check out this one river flood levels um, it's a very big map anything with a red eye icon is a large map um, some of them will take longer to load than others um, and you can scroll in here and see you know currently which rivers are flooding yada 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 um, so that's it you know climate viewer mobile is now live um i hope that you guys will check it out it works on your phone it works on your tablets it works on linux mac on pc i've tried it on all of them beware the red icons if you have a slower pc um you know it can lock up your computer as it just did right there um it's a very large map all snap I blew up my computer door um, so like I said some of these are very very large files um, another example of a large file would be the fracking map it's huge um, there are many many fracking wells any of them with a the red eye um, icon you know use at your own risk they're very very large maps um, and then, of course, everything in the atmospheric sensors, climate change, geoengineering, government surveillance, nuclear explosions, and other interesting maps are all made by MWA. Um, and then there's the science and history section, all of which were created by George Stiller from MyReadingMap.com. And you can see things like abandoned and sunken ships from around the world. Uh, pretty fascinating maps. He's got a lot of information on these. Um, ancient ruins, architecture, conquerors and worlds, crime sprees, disease eight outbreaks like mad cow, Ebola, things like that. Explorers of the world, um, you know, just amazing information, historical information like the Trail of Tears, um, you know, the Oregon Trail, things like that. Fossil sites, geosciences, uh, Darwin's origin of species, a depth gauge for understanding the ocean. Um, this is mind-blowing stuff you're not going to see anywhere else. It's raining frogs, fish, and what? Uh, how about this one? Uh, it rained blood and guts in San Francisco, 1851. Uh, it rained birds in, at Utah's Dugway Proving Ground. No doubt about why that happened. It rained corn husks in Wichita. It rained, uh, what do we got here? Uh, bats in Del Rio, Texas. Um, if you think you've had some freaky weather, this is about as freaky. It rained dead burns in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, this is under the geosciences and oceanography section. I love this map. It's absolutely fascinating to me. You can go over here to Europe. Uh, let's see what it rained over here. Raining frogs in Serbia. Um, worms in Bucharest. And Fro uh, frogs in Hungary. Let's see what we got in the UK. It rained jellyfish in Bath, UK. Uh, <laughs> wow. Right. Mount Ash, Wales. Um, let's see what else we got. It rained frogs and fish in Derby, England. Uh, frogs in Sheffield. So a lot of these are probably water spouts, sucking things up, throwing them in the air. But blood and guts in San Francisco? Are you kidding me? 
uh, insanity. So this is all history um, in the history and science section. Government, democracy of chaos, places affected by the 2013 government shut, shutdown. Fortune 500 companies that received government subsidies while avoiding paying taxes. Shame, shame. Um, check this out. It's absolutely fascinating. Migration. Um, this is, you know, where the trails are I was telling you about. Uh, the Oregon, California, and Mormon trails. As you can see here. Here they are. And they're mapped out in order. And you can see each of these is referenced, you know, where it came from. Um, George is a good friend of mine. He reads books and then he maps out what he reads. So that you uh, lazy folks who don't read a lot can do some homework the simple way. Train crash sites, transportation, uh, plane crash sites, just mountain climbing expeditions Hillary's 1953 Mount Everest climb for that one I want to show it to you on, Cli on Climb Viewer 3D because it's absolutely fascinating I'm going to make sure that I have uh, let's see I'm not on Climb Viewer 3D go over to Climb Viewer 3D it blew up too while I was blowing up the other so I'm going to reload reload that real quick and I'm going to show you that one just because it's totally fascinating clear maps Base globe, turn on 3D, turn on Bing Maps, go up here to Science and History, Mountain Climbing Expedition, and Hillary's 1953 Mount Everest Climb. It's going to fly me to it. And we're going to zoom out just to her. And what we're going to see is not only can you see where he climbed the mountain, you can see it in 3D. There's Mount Everest. Here's where he went up. Dot, 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 dot. To the tip of Mount Everest. Right there. Gotta love it. Pretty fascinating stuff. So, I find this stuff fascinating. I'm sure you will too. Um, there are literally thousands and thousands of hours of educational bliss located on Climate Viewer 3D and Climate Viewer Mobile. I hope that you guys will share this. It's at climateviewer.org and climateviewer.org slash 3D. It is, of course, free of charge. That's why I ask, you know, um, if you guys would please continue to support me on Patreon or give a one-time donation on PayPal, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, I'm taking a vacation next week. Any PayPal donations will go directly to my kids. I would greatly appreciate that. And, um, you know, many of you, I've mentioned to you previously that I've been battling Graves disease. Well, this rain stuff has really been helping out. And I've recently switched from the soul to the rain core, uh, version. And it's even better um, it has a lot of the green stuff that, I, you know, really is benefiting me. I've been able to shrink my thyroid by my neck circumference by over an inch in less than three weeks. Um, things are going pretty well with that. Um, my mood has improved. My anxiety has dropped. Um, in addition, I have quick coffee. That's why you guys see it says buy me a tea, not a coffee anymore. But regardless, a little bit of working out, um, stress relief. I got a, I did get a Muay Thai punching bag. Um, I'm going to be kicking the crap out of that as much as possible. And, you know, this, this core stuff is really helping out as well. Uh, maybe next month I'll be able to afford to get both the rain and core and see how that works because each has a different mixture. These are compressed cold, cold compressed seeds. Seeds have stem cells in them. They're very beneficial uh, for regrowing your body, for boosting your immune system. And I have immunodepressive uh, disease, Graves disease. So it's helped me out a lot. If you guys would like to try out RAIN, you can go to myrainlife.com slash climateviewer or come over to climateviewer.com slash myrainlife and sign up. Watch the video, do some research yourself, read the testimonials, 
if you'd like to shop and buy it you can buy it at retail or you can subscribe and save when you subscribe and save you're actually going to be giving um a portion of your sales actually goes to benefit me as well um so you know i greatly appreciate everybody who signs up under that and um you know that'll allow me to buy more of this uh product because it is literally saving my life right now so i swear by it seeds are the source of all life and they're packed with nutrients that you can't find anywhere else and i take it daily it helps me a lot just wanted to mention that so once again climate beer mobile is live i hope that you guys will check it out um try it on your phone please email me jim at climateviewer.com if you find any issues i'm sure there may be some bugs in there um i spent the last three days trying to get this up before i go on vacation so you guys can play with it for the next week and uh you know i hope that you guys love it and uh if you see any layers you'd like added to climate viewer 3d please send them to me jim at climateviewer.com um you know i can support arc gis which is esri uh google earth kml files geojson files web mapping service wms um if you find any sources of maps or um you know even lists of data that you'd like to see turned into a map send them to climate viewer Dot com is jim at climateviewer.com and i'll gladly uh work on that when i get some free time because mapping is my number one passion um i've spent a whole lot of time talking and writing articles and it's a pain for me to write an article but it is a labor of love to map things out so um you know like i said if you if you find something cool send it my way i probably will map it out I have a list of maps already on my to-do list, one of which is sounding rockets and rocket launch locations from around the world. The entire World Meteorological Organization's weather modification um, programs. Uh, I've got you know everything from 1998 to 2007, and I'd like to map that out. Um, so I've got a laundry list of maps that I'm waiting to make. And now that Climate Viewer Mobile is live, I'm going to start um, popping out some of those new ones. You'll see them in upcoming videos after next week. And I hope that you guys will stay tuned while I'm on vacation. Share my stuff. I really appreciate it. Sharing is caring. And uh, know that Climate Viewer 3D and Climate Viewer Mobile is loaded with information. And information is power. So with great power comes great responsibility. And all that I ask of you is that while you're using this information, you remember to attack ideas, not people. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.